Hello friends, welcome to the Osaka. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. In today's edition, we are going to talk about Mohamed Kudus. There's reports that Liverpool have shown interest in Mohamed Kudus. I'm here to give you the exclusive and the details of that particular report. We are also going to talk about Ghanaian players in Europe or Ghanaian players that are playing abroad and their performance. There's good news. Tyke Lamte has returned back from injury. I'm going to give you an update on him. Also, a lot of Black Stars players are excelling for their club side. They scored goals over the weekend, and we are going to talk about that. Zinake Williams, Antoine Semenyor, like basically every Ghanaian player that played over the weekend, I'm here to give you the updates and yeah, performance. As usual, if it's your first time, hit the subscription button. At the end of the video, I'm also going to leave some few comments and shout outs in the video. So do well to leave a comment when you watch this particular video. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into today's news. So let's start off with Mohamed Kudus. Kudus over the weekend provided an assist for West Ham United. It was a brilliant assist for West Ham United, newly promoted youngster. And after that, they both did do celebration together and then after that uh, Sunny Dara who is the former communication director of the Ghana Football Association now a calf media officer and also the owner or the founder of one of the leading Ghana's sports websites Ghana Soccer Nets has revealed that Liverpool as of today are looking forward to triggering Mohamed Kudus 85 million pounds uh, or 85 million euros release clause. So it means that Liverpool have strong interest in Mohamed Kudus. They are hoping to trigger his release clause and go ahead and go and sign him. If Sanidara reports that, he's, he's one person that when it comes to Ghanaian players and their transfer news, he doesn't get it wrong because of the contact he has built and the people he knows in the Ghanaian football ecosystem. If a transfer news is about a Ghanaian, I would trust a Ghanaian more than Fabrizio Romano and all the other transfer experts because the player is a Ghanaian first and the people around him are usually individuals that have relationship with the Ghanaian journalists. And that's why I mean, when there's a transfer news and it involves a Ghanaian player, I trust the Ghanaian sports journalists more than the European ones because they have direct contacts with him. There are so many transfers about Ghanaian players that he has mentioned that has gone ahead to be right. He said Liverpool have shown strong interest in Mohamed Kudus and they are looking forward to triggering his release clause. But the other report that, yes, Kudus has an 85 million uh, euros release clause or 85 million pounds release clause in his uh, contract. However, it is believed that that clause can only be triggered in 2025. That's like next summer. That's the only time it can be triggered. But I believe that if Liverpool are very, very interested in Mohamed Kudus and they are willing to take a chance and go for it, there's no way that they will wait and see that they will go for it in 2025. If Liverpool are really interested in it and there's a release clause, they will go for it. West Ham United have shown that, yeah, they are unwilling to sell Mohamed Kudus, but they did the same thing with Declan Rice, but at the end of the day, they went ahead to, to transfer him. They bought Mohamed Kudus to make more money from him. It's obvious. Because once they have that £85 million pounds release clause in his contract, it means that they are willing to transfer him. But Kudus has signed as far as 2028, but it will be dependent on West Ham United. But... This is a, is a growing news and it's obvious, it's always obvious that Mohamed Kudus would always leave uh, West Ham United. Chelsea had a, a stronger chance of signing him. They dragged their feet. West Ham took him and made a good name for him. Kudus has been an exceptional player for West Ham United and that is something that we all have to talk about. So away from Kudus, let's go to England and talk about some Ghanaian players that's performed over the weekend. In England, Thomas Partey once again, returned back to injury and is excellent. Has been consistent, played in Arsenal's last three matches and has been very, very effective. He played in Arsenal's game against Manchester United when Arsenal managed to win by one goal to zero. I mean, a very close game 
where Thomas Party was an exceptional talent. As usual, if Thomas is in Arsenal's team, he makes the midfield better. Played good, excelled in the middle, bossed it. I think now the Casemiro Thomas Party debate has died down. In as much as Partey has been gone out of injury, he he has basically won that Casemiro Thomas Partey injury. But with the football Arsenal has played here yeah, and the kind of performance they've showed up in this league, in as much as they may not win the English Premier League this time around, I think they've really done well. Arsenal has really done well. City, they are Manchester City. The for Arsenal to be able to move the tight the title race all the way to the last game of the season. It tells you the kind of work that Arsenal themselves have put in and how they've pushed themselves to the stop. Whether they win their league or not, I think Arsenal has really been great this season. Let's talk about Antoine Semenyo. Antoine Semenyo played in Bournemouth's last game. He played the entire 90 minutes when uh, Bournemouth managed to win. When Bournemouth lost 2-1 to Brentford at home. I think Antoine Semenyo... And also, Semenyo has been nominated for or as one nominated for Bournemouth Player of the Season Award. Like, you know, there's Canadian players and their performance. Semenyo nominated for, nominated for Bournemouth Player of the Tournament of the Season. He has been an exceptional player for Bournemouth this season. Has scored goals, provided assists, worked very hard for the team. There was an injury scare, but by God's grace, he managed to surpass it and come back and come and play over the weekend and it's very important because ghana has a very important two games two uh, world cup qualifiers to play in june so to have our uh, players back on their feet and no injury is very very good news for team ghana ty clamty talking about injury ty clamty also returned from injury the guy picked up an injury recently after featuring in that friendly games for the ghana for ghana for the ghana there is like this guy's English, uh, Bokum Banku, for Ghana. And he went out to pick up an injury again. We don't like it. But by God's grace, he came back from injury to play for Brighton and Hope Albion when they drew 1 1 with Newcastle. They played 55, 51 minutes for Brighton and Hope Albion, which is a very good news. And we are happy that that particular thing happened. Jordan Ayu also came up as substitute to play for Crystal Palace when they won by three goals to one. Against what was Crystal Palace, Jeffrey Schlopp has extended his contract for Crystal Palace. Andre Ayu is still with Crystal eh, Jordan Ayu should say is still with Crystal Palace. But looks like Jeffrey Schlopp here. Yeah, he may never play for the Black Stars again. That's hard. Let's go to Spain. Inaki Williams has scored his 100th goal for Athletic Bilbao or Athletic Club de Bilbao. The Canyon is balling he's he scored 12 goals this season which is his highest he has ever scored in his entire career or the highest he has scored in a season the young man in as much as he struggled to play for the black stars at the african cup of nations has been an exceptional player for his club side he, they won the copa del rey and now managed to score 100 goals for his club brilliant one for him abdul Mumen, a center back who i believe should be considered when it comes to the black stars yes he was called once and he had a clear chance of playing for the black stars but i think he got an injury and he couldn't even honor that particular invitation abdul Mumen is back from injury and he played 90 minutes for real valicano when they play against um, valencia in a draw the game ended in a draw but the young man is an exceptional center back very progressive good on the ball runs with the ball in period where we've had our center backs with a lot of injuries i believe the head coach should consider inviting him again especially Eduardo. consider inviting him again, again bring him on board and let's see what can happen let's go to france and talk about some Canadian players to win their performance. So, Ernest Nyama also came from the bench to come and play 24 minutes for Leon in their 1-0 win over Clermont Foot. Leon are now positioned well. There was a time they were struggling, they were battling for relegation, but now they are positioned well in the French League. And also, Mohamed Salisu's side, the FC Monaco, also uh, won 2-0 against Montpellier 
and the truth is that now they have qualified to the Champions League. Sally Sue's club has successfully and officially qualified to the Champions League, which is a very good news for him. Next is Mohamed Sally Sue is one of the Black Stars players that we are going to see in the Champions League. That is an exciting news that we are happy for the Ghanaian. Ali Dusedu also played 90 minutes for his club side, Ren, when they drew 1 1 against Lens. In that same game, Black Stars player uh, Abdul Salis Samit also played by came from the bench. Salis is struggling small, small when it comes to game time, but it's normal. You can't be excelling throughout the year. And I believe maybe he's also a bit tired. Andrea Yu Capito played 90 minutes for Leave when they lost 1-0 to Nines. Like, they want to survive in the French League uh, and they need to be winning their games small, small so that they can be on top of issues. Other Ghanaian players are featured. Babaraman also featured for his club side in Greece, in 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 uh, Serbia, Leonardo Usu also played. And also in Switzerland, Lawrence Atisigi was in post for St. Gallen when they won, when they drew 1-1. One, one. In the US or in the MLS, Joseph Penso was involved in LA Galaxy 2-2 draw against Real Salt League. When it comes to the clubs and the names in uh, USA, it's kind of interesting. So this is a quick update on Ghanaian players and their performance. As usual, we talked about Kudus and other players as well. My name is Delali Frank. Until we meet again, bye-bye for now.